Okay, here's the next part, the battle at Ewing. The Shu army has encamped on the banks of Changjiang. It's time. Spread the word. At midnight, we move to the river to face the Shu army. Yes. This battle shall surely decide the fate of Shu and Wu. Okay, as always, the intro. After Cao Cao leads his giant navy south to Changjiang, Sun Se and Lu Bei head to meet him at Chibi. Despite being outnumbered, the strategies of Zhou Yu and the Allied forces proved successful, preserving the peace of Changjiang. Previously, Wu had joined forces with Shu in order to oppose Wei, but relations sour as Wu plots to take back the Jing province. Infuriated, Lu Bei refuses to return the province and readies his troops for war. The Shu army takes its position at Yi Ling, the length of their forces reaching over 700 miles in length. The Wu strategist Lu Zhu earnestly waits for an opportunity and in the year 222 gives the order to go to war. Okay. The equipment is the same, the weapons the same. I'm going to keep the items the way they are. The conditions are the same. If Lu Bei is defeated, we win. If Sun Tzu is defeated, or if I die, we lose, and it's a game over. Uh, the unit info, there's only one additional change, and that's Guan Yu. He replaces Ma Chao from here on out for the fact that I've beaten Guan Yu. Well, I've beaten his Muso mode, not beaten him. Anyway, uh, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, let's do this. Alright, we defeated Wei Yan, now we're going for uh, Zhang Bao. Because he's in the way for Zhu Ron's fire attack. Message to Zuron's unit. We will burn the Shu army as planned. Alright, now that's done. 
we're gonna defeat Guan Xing for the fact that he might just bombard and come over here for no apparent reason. I mean, it does. Ha it did happen to me once. Trust me. I think it actually happened on one of my walkthroughs. I defeated an officer. Fight harder. See, random troops just decide to come and attack for no apparent reason. Well, obviously for a reason, but they just pop out over here for no apparent reason. Alright, we're gonna go for Zhao Yun next. Watch my spear and learn. Yeah, pretty good trick when it comes to uh, basically juggling the uh, enemy. Make sure they're facing the opposite way. Don't fall behind. If they face the opposite way, then you'll be able to juggle them. And I'm running into a wall. Well, so much for going after Guan Yu. I mean, once you occur this fire attack here, it's not even funny how. Yeah, it's really not funny how quickly they drop like flies. I got the weapon out of that, but I didn't kill him. It's time to show them what we can do. Don't fall behind. Yeah, I didn't expect the NPCs to kill everybody. 
The only people I killed were Wei Yan and Zhao Yun. But, uh, yeah, a little tip. If you want to go for points and kill as many officers as you can in this level, just make sure. Yeah, just make sure that you don't allow the fire attack. Alright, we're gonna go through this maze here. Easiest maze out of all Dynasty Warriors, in my opinion. Well, except for those rats killing me. I'm surprised I even cracked 50 based on everything that has happened. Hmm. Isn't this where we started? We will not let them buy our army. All right, we grabbed the dim sum. Now we're gonna continue on through this maze. I said this a million times already. All you gotta do is hug a left throughout the whole maze, and then you'll get out very quickly. Wow. Wow. Yeah, these crossbows aren't running away. Alright, we're right at the end of the maze. I could go the rest by foot if I wanted to, but I'm not. And uh, I need to grab the Musa wine here. Which is the most important thing to grab right now. And uh, next, we're going to defeat Wu Wulan. Apparently, they decided to come to me, which I'm not really happy about. And now, he's running away. That's a repetitive pattern going on here. They come forward and then they run away. I 
I defeated an officer. Alright, let's get out of this maze before I get a headache. Is this the exit? It's taken too long. I'm very surprised I cracked 100, let alone near 150. Yeah, let's go after Zhuge Liang's sub-officer. Yeah, that watcher needs to go. Alright, now Zhuge Liang. I love it for the fact that he approaches me and then runs away. Ow, ow. Yeah, not happening. I defeated an officer. I oppose all who destroy the peace. I can't believe I was unable to repay Lu Bei's trust. Don't fall behind! That works. Now, go back. If I can, grab the ointment. And do it again. My brother, I'm sorry to say, but I must break our oath.
and that's a win. An easy win. Real too easy. I really didn't kill that many officers. I mean, everyone's morale is maxed to the top, and I didn't even hit a thousand KOs. Now, let's see what weapons we get. Uh, eh. So we're not gonna have a third weapon for the final level. Uh, oh well. And we're not gonna anything... We're not gonna get anything good here. Apparently I've been tongue-tied lately. Yeah, that's a sad amount for KOs. I didn't even kill 10 officers. I killed 9. All my bodyguards survived, which was a good thing. Because usually Liu Bei crushes the living hell out of all my bodyguards. And they're finally sergeants. Alright. We'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you for the next part, which will be the finale. Peace.